Hey guys, so I'm in Istria, which is a beautiful part of Croatia for our tournament for the national team, as you can see. Um, it is 8.45 a.m., everyone's sleeping, and I wanted to explore. So I wanted to show you all around. Look at where we are. I'm by a lighthouse right now. It's pretty cool. Um, my hotel is right over there, all the way across. It takes longer to get there than it looks because you have to go all the way around the water, but here I am. It's Sunday. It's kind of rainy, dim, but it is March, so what do you expect? Um, we have training today and we play Bosnia tomorrow. Bosnia is on the top of the group right now, so it's gonna be a big game. They beat France, we lost to France. A France B team, by the way. Um, and yeah, we will have one more game after that, I think, uh, against someone in the other group. And uh, I'm really happy I'm here. It's a really good opportunity for me, soccer-wise. Um, doing pretty well. Um, I am not the starter, if that's what you are curious about um there is a goalkeeper that is better than me here and that's okay i'm learning and i'm getting better now when i get back to my club team in osiak we have a game against dinamo and then we play against spartak which will be a really hard game that team um i get to play a lot so it's a little different than the national team but um they're both great and i'm getting a lot of experience out here um, yeah, I've never played as many uh, big games back to back before, so it's a great learning environment for me. Um, I mean, I'm, of course, I miss my adult league, Asheville Soccer, but the level here is so high, and um, it's just so much on the line, and it's, it's like a different world. Um, it's a lot of pressure, and it's, it's hard. It's not... It's not as easy as you would think it is, and um, I mean, everyone dreams of this dream, and I'm living it. And when I was younger, I uh, wanted to do this, and here I am doing it. I told my dad when I was 10, Dad, I want to be on the Croatian women's national team. I was the worst goalkeeper in the world when I was 10, but turns out uh, here I am <laughs> and uh, I just worked hard and um, that's the thing if I didn't have natural talent I worked for it and worked for it and then I gained talent and now I'm here and I'm really lucky um, yeah it's I miss home a lot it's I mean and I can't speak the language which is very troubling <laughs> the girls are nice um, but I mean, I miss, I miss home. Shout out to Melanie and Maddie. Miss you guys a lot. And everyone else there, of course. So, yeah, you know who you are. Um, and, yeah, just living life in Istria, Croatia right now. A little nicer than my town in Osijek, but this is seaside. So, we're here for three more days, I believe, and then we go back to our club which will be uh, kind of nice, honestly. I mean, it's nice to be here, but you know, you have your routine at your place you're staying. So um, yeah, I had my food that I was eating and all that. We have like unlimited food here. And um, I'm reaping the benefits. Probably not the best. I was eating super healthy <laughs> at Osiak, but um, the unlimited food here is so good. So not the healthiest, but definitely the tastiest um yeah so that is what i am doing right now and um i miss you guys and i hope everything is going well in usa <laughs>